Most of us have had the unhappy experience of losing something near and dear to us. And then that sense of relief when we find it or someone returns it to us, uh, to us uh, a good Samaritan. But when a penniless homeless man returns a diamond ring, now that is something very special. Here's Craig's report. You just to change today, sir? Thank you. God bless you. For the better part of a decade, Billy Ray Harris has lived on the streets, panhandling here in Kansas City, Missouri. But this homeless man's fate changed dramatically when a generous young woman emptied her change purse into his cup. I was just sitting here like I am today. She walked up, she had a little coin purse with a zipper on it. And she unzipped it and just dumped all the coins in it, I guess not knowing that the ring was inside. What was your reaction when you saw the ring? Uh, bling. <laughs> I just reached in my coin purse, but I didn't really look, and I accidentally gave him, along with some change, my engagement ring. Sarah Darling was distracted after a busy day shopping and getting her family ready for a road trip. We were probably about an hour away from home when I realized it. Yeah. What was your reaction? My reaction was, turn around <laughs> right now. We have to go back. Billy Ray noticed the ring in his cup, but thought it was fake. So he asked the jeweler about his found treasure. He says, all I can tell you, if you want to sell it, I'll give you $4,000 for it right now, no questions asked. And, and my jaw about dropped like that cartoon fox on the road runner, you know. <laughs> my husband had customized the ring, and he, it was custom made. Really special, um, but I also didn't have an insured. And then the little devil popped up on my shoulders like, oh, man, take the money, take the money, you know, $4,000, you're sleeping under a bridge. And then the other little angel over here is like, man, don't do that, your grandfather turned over in his graves, you know you sold out for that money like that, you know. By the time Sarah returned, Billy Ray was gone. I felt really helpless, and I didn't know what to do. Holding on to a shred of hope, Sarah returned the next day, and there was Billy Ray in his spot in front of the theater in Country Club Plaza. And I just pulled up my car and got out really quick and ran up to him, and I'm like, I don't know if you remember me, <laughs> but I gave you something that was really precious to me. And he's like, was it a ring? And, and I said, yes. And he said, I have it. Billy returned the ring that he kept hidden in a jacket where he sleeps under an overpass in downtown Kansas City. You gave him whatever money you had as a tip? Yeah, I had $60 in cash in my wallet, so I gave that to him and I, and I kind of felt like this isn't over. Sarah and her husband Bill Craigie started a donation fund on the Give Forward website, but never expected the response they got. I initially set it up as knowing that a few people might see it and, and donate a few dollars, that would be really cool. Um, but I was also going to use it to also kind of pay forward what I felt I owed him, right? So, you know, with each paycheck, I was going to put a few bucks into it, things like that. But yeah, so I set it up for 90 days with a goal of $1,000 and hope to reach that. This is the site here we're looking at? This is the site. It's uh, giftforward.com slash Billy Ray. And uh, she's got a picture of him, you know, how the numbers are doing, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. I think it's around $180,000. Yeah, yeah, that is really a surprise, you know. Now, that's a pretty decent reward for being a good man and doing what's right. Yeah, kind of shows you what the world is coming to when you just return something that don't belong to you and then all of this. <laughs> Billy Ray's story has been published around the world. As a result of the publicity, he has been reunited with his brother and sister in native Texas. After 16 years, they had given him up for dead. He said he didn't want to be a bird. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> he didn't want to be a bird on his family, but he wanted to death police. See his family, and he's just so glad that he knows that we're all well. That tells me that someone higher than us is in control of all of this, and he's trying to deliver a message, and he's just using me as a vessel, and he's giving me a platform to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's the way I feel about the situation, you know. What's the message? The message is that people need to open their eyes up a little bit and know, have a little character about themselves and try to do right. I mean, none of us can do right all of the time. So, Billy Ray, one more question. Yeah. Why are you still on the streets? Well, actually, I still have to live. I mean, and all this money everybody's talking about, I haven't gotten any of it yet. <laughs> Returning Sarah Darling's engagement ring was not Billy Ray Harris's first good deed. Years back, after a Kansas City Chiefs-Oakland Raiders football game, a retired player who had a little bit too much to drink jumped into this creek, losing his Super Bowl ring. Billy Ray found the ring, 
tracked out that player and returned it to him. He was rewarded with an extended stay at a hotel. Now people from around the globe are rewarding Billy Ray for his honesty. Geraldo, back to you. Craig, thanks. I hope uh, Billy Ray uses that money to change his life, get off the streets, and uh, you know, going on onward and upward to better things. Thanks a lot, Sarah and her husband Bill also deserve high praise, by the way. And speaking.